What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the second episode of Farewell, my dear Kramer. This one's titled Impact. Yes, I guess uh, we're trying to make an impact, uh, probably with the return of... Um, uh, Nomi-san? Was that her name? The the like the pro player now who's going to be coming back and coaching her old school, essentially. Um, I think she's going to be the one trying to make an impact and uh, get this girl's team to actually be competent and be properly motivated to actually... Uh, play and hopefully win um but i think this show kind of really is encompassing one core message and that is women's football needs to be shown more quite honestly because aside from let's think here aside from maybe the world cups so the women's world cup i don't know if i've ever seen female football before like i've watched world cups of them and occasionally when the england team is playing in like the build-up to a tournament Occasionally that will get broadcast on TV as well. It's been a long time since I watched any football, to be honest. It's mostly either highlights on YouTube or... There was a time where I was religiously watching like Match of the Day and stuff and making sure I caught exactly what happened in the Premier League and even uh, going on for uh, what happened in the lower leagues because my team, Accrington and Stanley, was always in the lower leagues. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I was always trying to keep up at least on what their results were and such. But since then, I've massively dropped off on... Um, on uh football and such like that i might try and get back into it eventually uh, i might try and get back into it for the uh next season but i guess we'll see um this is kind of scratching that itch for football a little bit uh, or soccer as i suppose we should be calling it here in this show um what brief moments we did get were okay the characters are okay art styles okay it's just a very okay show it's not really it's not doing anything to stand out just yet. Like I said the last time as well, the only reason it's probably capturing more attention than it normally would is because of who's created it. Because it's the creator of Your Lie in April, everyone's expecting something. We're all kind of expecting that level of emotional connection almost to our cast, and I just don't see it happening in a show like this. I, I just don't. I think the base premise just doesn't allow the same amount. Sports anime are great for drama and great for connection in that way, but that usually takes a bit of time. And not many people stick around that long when it comes to sports-based anime. They they really do get shafted in that uh, in that sense in just how much um, in just how much they can really capture an audience. And in score terms, that always translates to a lower score. However, we have watched sports anime on here before. Uh, Tamayomi, but, uh, from uh, one of the first seasons I ever did. Uh, we watched all the way through that, despite some... Oh boy, that was a, a horrific plunder in uh, uh, giving the material to Funimation, where they gave the draft version, which had some really awkward shots in it. CG usage was pretty terrible. But we still watched it, because I kind of enjoyed the characters more than anything. Um, but so far, this hasn't caught me in the same way. I'm hoping the second episode does a bit better. Because I would like to keep this show to an extent. Because I do want to start watching more sports-based shows. And appreciating them a bit more. Because I feel like I am overly harsh on them at times. But I need a reason to care, you know? And, um... Yeah, so far it's just not quite there. But we're very early on. We're only just getting our coach now. Or a proper coach compared to the other one who's quite, um disinterested with the sport it seems but now we've got someone who's very passionate for it i guess we'll see how the perspective shifts and how the team starts to gel together a bit i guess we'll see what ends up happening but um yeah just gonna get into the episode and see what ends up happening because i i need this episode to be good for me to feel the need to continue it in a sense not that i wouldn't mind a, a easier day after a, a hectic sunday and that wasn't even the hectic most hectic Sunday it could have been, but you know, I, I still would like to enjoy this show if at all possible. So hopefully, this episode does a little better. But um, yeah, uh, with all that said, as per usual, these are time based for my actions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full picture and picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. Four pounds a month gets you access to all Patreon picture actions I do on the channel, which is everything from this season and future seasons. We got uh, Patreon request shows on there like Simple Gear, World Trigger, and such. Um. We also got movies and such on there. Uh, Weathering View, the movie will be coming later this month. So if you become a Patreon today, you'll have access to that when it comes out as well. Um, 
But yeah, here on YouTube, we have the time base. So bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time for the episode. I count down three to one play. Then on play, you start the episode. I start the episode, and we should be in sync. Watch this one, Crunchyroll, since they licensed it this season. Uh, no logos. We're just going to be straight into what looks like a mini... Well, picking up where we left off last time with uh, nobi -san coming back. Um, but you can use screen flash on my face. All my detail when scenes transitioning. Pro tip, look at this part of my headset as well. It's very effective and should help that sync up a bit easier as well. So, with all that said, let's get into the second episode, shall we? In three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Definitely looks good for the image, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopeless. Yep. It's the correct response. Mm-hmm. Uh, great start already for her. Yep. Wow. Okay. Now pee time. Such a weird run cycle. Based on the way this OP is framed, by the way, I feel like the former coach... He's going to have his own development in this show. It seems like he's more important than maybe you'd think, rather than just being a shitty coach that's just disinterested. At least some people recognize her. Wow, it was in the Bundesliga, okay. Jesus, alright, price this game immediately. <laughs> Bit early, isn't it? Well, it depends how long we've got until the next game, I suppose. <laughs> oh boy. Christ. I 
Aren't you meant to be like this? Jesus Christ. Aren't you meant to be our star player? <laughs> what's what's up? What's up with this? Why the lack of motivation? Yes, get your act together. Yes. You are absolutely slacking off. Like... <laughs> okay. Analogies, I guess. But seriously, for our star player, she really didn't care about playing. Only special. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, it helped, but. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I would be as well, honestly, based on that performance, but... Hmm. Be quite the story, yeah. You normally have an attachment to your school. That's also true. Not her, based on first impression. Mm-hmm. Okay, she actually got lost? Okay. <laughs> At least you acknowledge it. Sure. Sure. Don't get academy. Are they a good team? I'm guessing they're pretty damn good. National champions. Okay. Trial by fire, I guess. <laughs> Former Japan national team coach. Wow. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> A 
and then now they know the level they have to achieve. <laughs> God damn it. No boy. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's always the first question. Oh, it just reminds me of Hot Fuzz. Hi, Nicholas. How's the hand? Hey. Nice. Mm hmm. Mm, that's the expectation. Holy shit. Whew. Winning by 10 goals, I think that's very doable. Clean sheets. I don't know about that one. I think they might get a bit of an upset with that. They might get one through, and that will be seen as a victory for them, despite a terrible game. Yes. Oh, he came as well. But they don't have a good offense, that's why. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I mean that's a little ridiculous almost, but whatever. Nice. Good good goalkeeping. Wait, was it punched out? It's a damn good punch. Hmm. I mean, a 10 meter sprint isn't exactly much, but whatever. Contain that speed, and what else is there? Well, I mean, it can be, but it's a bit more complicated than that. Hmm. 
Right. Nice intercept. Yeah. Nice block. Very nice. <laughs> whoa, 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 We're going back for that. What was that run cycle? Ooh, nice. Ooh, pinpoint. That was nice, actually. Okay, that's a bit... It's a bit much, but whatever. Also, why are you fangirling over her? Like, come on. Obviously. They absolutely should. Yeah, they they figured it they figured out it's some of the run cycles are pretty mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're good. They they know the game. <laughs> Park in the bus. Mm -hmm. Control. Nice bit of control. Oh, here we go. Nice. Good dribble. Yeah, way too late. Nice. Simple and easy. Good link up play. Oops. She is the star player here. I mean, it was expected. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
if they have the drive to get to that level. Hmm. Fast R seven nil, okay. Stop fine going and stop putting some effort in. God damn it. Clee loves the game, but <sighs> Sure. Now do you wanna actually try yourself? Because that you haven't done anything yet. Uh huh. Hopefully that means she's actually going to do something in the second half, because, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why do they have the swimmer running across the pool like that? I don't understand that one. <laughs> Next time, Gates of Hell. Looks like she's actually going to do something at this point. That would be nice. Um, I'm really undecided with this. I'm really undecided. What do I do here? Do I give it another episode just to see if she improves? I don't know. I just... I don't know if I'm into it or not. I really don't. Okay, we need to go back and see that running animation about 15 minutes in because that looks so bizarre on the first watch. I wonder if it actually was that bizarre or not in practice. <laughs> It is. It's worse. Oh my god, it's so much worse when you look at it. Oh my god. Uh, for those of you who want to see it, uh, go to about 1516 into the episode. Uh, and then about 1518, 
Uh, she puts through ball in, and uh, uh, her the wing back, well, not the wing back, yeah, right back, whatever, uh, overtakes, and then goes into quite possibly one of the stupidest run cycles I've seen. They could have just left her in the exact same run cycle, but they changed it for some unclear reason into just something so silly. I'm going to isolate that and make that a GIF on my Discord just so you guys can see it. Um, I'll also link... Well, no, I can't link it there, but yeah, I'll, I'll show it in the Discord because, oh my god, that was... <laughs> that was bad. Um, yeah. Thankfully, there weren't too many moments like this where the animation was just quite laughable. But, like... That's the type of running I expect to see in some, like, training drill for, like, quick footwork, not in the middle of a match. Especially when you're meant to be running past. It's like, she's laying you up for a run. You don't go into a little like that. No, you just don't do that. Um, yeah, once again, when it comes to sport anime... Now, I gave Tamayomi the benefit of the doubt because I was very unknowledgeable about uh, baseball. I learned a bit of the rules, I learned some of the lingo as time went on, and whilst it was all CG, at least when they did the CG it made sense exactly what they were doing and it was kind of decent form from what I heard from you guys. But having played soccer, having played for a professional, well not a professional team, but having played for a team in a league, I know, I know this sport. It consumes five odd years of my life. I I know this sport, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of things that are really just not meshing. Like, they've got some of the... I mean, they're right in principle on what they're saying, for the most part. They're right in what they're saying, but when it comes to actually depicting that, again, anime just doesn't seem to be a good medium for that. I don't know why anime just struggles to do it. I don't know if it's... Because I can't really blame the creator for this at all. Because when you're doing it in, uh, say, a light novel or in manga format, still images are so much easier to represent what's going on than with animation. And animation... It's that translation to animation that really just breaks a lot of sports anime. Because, like I said with Tamayomi, it was not visually impressive at all, and some of the CG usage was pretty bad. But the characters kept up and were very interesting. So far, I'm not feeling that same way about these characters. The only character I like is Aoyuki's, really. That's the only character I kind of like so far. I kind of like uh, So as well, kind of. Um, but, yeah. Uh... Nozomi Onda, I don't like her. Like, she both says, oh, I want to play on a boys team because I'm, I'm good enough to be on there. And then you see her in this, and it's like, why, though? Like, she's... She's so fickle with her motivation at the moment. And I think that's probably going to be the point that they drive home. It's like, she needs... She needs that motivation in order to play well. Which is fair, a lot of sports people need motivation in order to continue to improve themselves and to give their all, but yeah, it's just, if I go back to, let's go back to the first episode here, I just want to go back to the first episode when we met her, because I feel like she's basically a different character in that. Let's see. Uh, after the OP. Uh, let's see here. After this bit. It's when they're going to watch another team, right? Okay, and they're watching. Uh... She's the only player on Warabi Sen who was actually trying. And then we see her in this. Maybe this is just the effect of it. She's so she's so used to trying and not getting anything that she's just kind of given up at this point. But now that she's seeing potential, that's when she changes. I don't know if that's meant to be what they're meant to be doing, but for the one player, she's the only player on Warabi Senan who was actually trying. 
and now she's the only one who's not trying. And it's just like, why do we just have a directly, why do we do have a direct contrasting character already? Like, there was no build up to it. It's just like, oh, now she's just incompetent and not caring and spacing out and all this. It's like, if you want that to be a, a arc for her. You've got to actually show her trying and getting exasperated with it, and you've got to show that decline. You can't just say, oh yeah, she's had a decline. No, show the decline. This is a plot point that should happen in like episode 6, episode 7. When things are starting to go well, but that motivation just is lost. Because I think Tamayomi exploit, uh, explored that a bit. But it's a very real thing in sport. You lose motivation. It's a very real thing in anything, let's be real. Like, whenever you have a hobby or something you like doing especially if it's of a competitive nature, some days you just feel like you don't, you're just not feeling it, and therefore your performance slips, and you need that motivation to reinvigor you, but... Yeah, that's an interesting plot point. I want to explore that in the show. But the way it's been depicted so far in this makes me feel like, why? Honestly, this just doesn't feel right for her. Especially after, um, especially after the the end of the last episode as well. And then she says, soccer's more fun when everyone's playing together. And then when they have a chance to start doing stuff together, she's just still spacing out. <laughs> it's like, why? I just don't, I just don't get her character. I fundamentally do not like her. I do not like the way she's portrayed. Because it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't. And that's the one thing I'm kind of surprised by the most. It's like, I expected the characters to carry this show. Because I thought, okay, it's a sport show. The sport itself is not going to be that good. Because it never really is. I don't know why, but there needs to be... There needs to be a studio that specializes in sports anime at this point. Because I don't think any studio... Okay. No studio I've seen, I would say, has been competent in sports. Especially team sport anime. I'm sure you guys will probably have some... Uh, names of like some older shows as well especially that have done it so much better but i still feel like there's not really a single studio that's like they can do sports anime well i mean who's the team like let me know in the comments uh like some of the greater sports based animes like actual team sports i'm not talking like boxing and things like that i'm talking like team sports soccer baseball cricket rugby anything like that like big team sports where the actual sport has been really, really well animated and depicted. Because I think that list is very, very short, personally. And I think that's going to continue to happen because sports anime just seems to flop in general. I don't know about sports manga. I think sports manga should be doing just fine because you don't have the issue of animation. You can capture that feeling of the sport without having to make any movement. So, yeah, I think I'm going to drop this one just because <laughs> just because I'm annoyed at uh, Nozomi already. I'm annoyed at her. I'm not really feeling some of this cast already. I think this show will improve over time. I, I fully expect that by the end of this show, those of you who are stuck with it and have a connection to these characters will be surprised by the author. I, I fully expect that. I do not want to invest any more time into it to get that payoff, though. I just fundamentally do not like some of these characters. And I don't want to invest my time into this any more than I have to, so... That's the reason why I'm dropping it. And I don't want to just continue on it just for the hope that it gets better. Because I'm not enjoying it. And I don't want to become have a reaction where I'm not enjoying something. The only exception to that rule really on my channel has been Promised Neverland Season 2. The only reason I stuck with that one so much because it was a sequel. And I wanted to see if it was going to end, like properly end. Or if it was going to set up a sequel beyond that. And it properly ended, which was even a worse decision than... Well, actually no, it was a better decision because it was a saving grace from us having to witness a terrible third season. But... Yeah, I'm not going to watch something I'm just not enjoying. I don't want to subject you guys to that. I'm not here to shit on anime. I'm here to appreciate and love anime. And yeah, so that's the reason why I'm dropping it. But um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, leave a like if you did as well as your comments. And if you're going to be continuing with this one, how you're feeling about the show as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see uh, other Spring 2021 shows that are on the channel. A lot of uh, shows coming out um, and... Yeah, there's plenty of content out there for you. So thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.